What's going on guys and girls? We're here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all the mission tasks for mission 38 which is called Extraordinary. So this mission is quite different so we're going to be doing it very stealthily hopefully and we're going to be taking D-Dog in to help us spot the enemies but this mission has got some uh, an odd quirk to it. The film canister is something that should be stationary but there's actually three different locations that it can spawn in when you do this mission. It's the only mission that I've found that does this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you all three locations. So if you look at the picture right there that is this is going to show you the exact location of that picture. So from the kind of start area so as you just enter what's this place called like uh spung may keep i think that's how you say it uh you're gonna find the location of that canister right there and i'm gonna show you all three locations i only found three locations uh, for it to spawn so hopefully there are no more i tried the mission a bunch of times and i only got these three locations so i just span around so you can see exactly where it is and then you just want to collect it and you're just going to need to know where that is when you're going to try and do it um like when you're going to try and find the film canister before reinforcements arrive so this is the second location of it i'm just going to start right here i'm just trying to show you exactly where i'm starting and we're just going to head over to there and there's going to be the location of the second film canister i'm going to show you the photo uh later i just sorry i don't show it to you then but i do show it to you once we actually find the film canister so this is the location it's just in this archway sort of area just in a crack right there and if you just spin around I just, you can just see exactly where you are on this area and i'm just going to show you the photo so that's the photo if you have that photo as you're being landed heli lifted in check your photo in this area and you'll be able to tell exactly which location you need to be at for this mission so we got one more location this location is actually probably the easiest one to find because it is right near the entrance so as you can see there's a little like dark spot there that is a pot that you can actually uh walk up to you can actually see very easily and that's where that location of the film canister is going to be and so we're just going to head up here and you're going to see it right down there if you just get close enough it will come up with the uh, yellow square and you'll be able to pick it up so that's the location of all the three film canisters i'm just spinning around so you can see exactly where they are i wanted to do this first up because you guys might not know exactly where they are and i really want to get that out of the way so you guys can see all of the locations before we do any of the mission tasks any of the other mission tasks so once you have secured the film canister that will be one mission task and then you have to do a few other things to get it you kind of have to do this mission twice at least because one of them you have to get the film canister before reinforcements arrive so that's what we're going to do here we're just going to rush over to the area get the film canister and then get out before the reinforcements arrive we're going to do a little trick to give us a little bit more time with the reinforcements and what we're going to do is we're just going to head in here and get into my jeep and head to uh, this is a weird name spung may keep i hear ocelot to say it is it ocelot yeah it's ocelot definitely it is ocelot talking to us i hear him say it and i, I always forget what he says and i'm just like oh whatever so we're heading over this way and then when we do this the second time we're going to actually have to go and get the prisoner from the east guard post because that is kind of uh, on a uh, off on it's kind of off track so what you have to do is you have to go get that and the prisoner and by the time you get back and get the prisoner you're not going to be able to get the film canister before reinforcements arrive because the, the that guy is just too far away so what we're doing here is we're just sitting out a couple of sleep mines these are just going to allow us to have a little bit more time when the reinforcements arrive they're going to stop behind my jeep and end up falling asleep and that will just give us a little bit more time to be able to find the film canister we're also going to be uh securing spung may keep so we're going to capture it from all these guards that are looking all these soldiers that are looking for the film canister so we're just going to go around and throw a bunch of sleep grenades at these guys so that they all fall asleep and that's so that's basically what we're doing we're just running around or well, sneaking around really we don't really want to be spotted uh, and i'm pretty sure i was able to get it without being spotted at least too many times or at least at all and once we have made these guys all these guys fall asleep we will just be able to find the film canister very very easily because we already know exactly where it is so that's the last guy we have to make go to sleep and now that will should give us the secure spying ray keep uh mission task and i'm just going to run over here so you can see exactly where i'm going to be going uh this was basically when i didn't really know there were more than one 
uh, locations for the the what's it called the film canister so I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew exactly where it was uh, but I already showed you this one so this is just the one that has the pot right next to it and once you've got that that should give you the mission tasks as you can see those guys that were reinforcements they have uh, fallen asleep down here and that gave us just a bit more time to be able to get that mission task before these guys showed up and give us that mission task so now we've done that all we need to do is get out of here so what we're going to do is we are going to leave the mission area and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the mission again this the second time except we're going to go and get the prisoner from the east guard post and then we're also going to get the griffin vulture which is circling above the main mission area over spung may keep so if you just head this way you end up getting out of the hot zone and once you're out of the hot zone then that will be it and you have got at least the first three of the mission tasks and then we're just going to do the last two mission tasks the second time around so that also gives you an s rank and as you can see we've captured spung may keep and we've done it before the reinforcements arrived because you can see the bonuses that we got there so uh, on the top right hand corner and we got 175,000 points for doing it so fast so this time we're going to be heli lifted in at the same location and we're just going to instead go to the prisoner who's over at the east guard post uh, so that is just over here and there's only one building so he's just inside that single building there are a few guards usually uh, around him that you're just gonna have to deal with and once we get there we're just going to show you exactly how i do that so this mission is quite simple and very easy to do uh, you just have to do it twice to be able to get all the mission tasks you have to at least do it twice and the only weird thing is that the fact that the film canister kind of changes location depending on when you do this mission it it doesn't it just seems to randomize so if you restart the mission the film canister can actually move location to one of the other three locations so it's just kind of one of those weird missions it's the only mission that i've ever out of the, in this entire game that I've experienced that does something like that like some of the other ones like with the prisoners that move that's kind of normal but this one is like it's a film canister and you get a different picture depending on you know just when you do it just you just get a different picture really um it's just kind of randomized so as you can see we just tranquilized everyone around here and we're just going to sneak up to this guy he's going to go out and luckily he just doesn't see me there otherwise that could have been a combat alert didn't wouldn't really matter too much because we've already got the s rank playthrough and uh, but we are just going to show you the location of the prisoner he's just in this back area and there's also a diamond right next to him if you haven't got that recently so you can just pick that up give you some gmp doesn't really matter once we're this far through the game gmp is just kind of like oh i've got plenty of it don't really need too much more uh and then we're just going to hop into the vehicle and head over to Spung May Keep. Uh -huh. Is that how you meant to say it? Squats. Yep, I'm going to call it Spung May Keep. That's just how I'm going to say it. So we're going to head over there, and now we're just going to basically. I think we're just going to secure the guard post again, the area again, and then we are going to uh, get the vulture. He is just circling around uh, above the area, so what you need to do is you just need something to be able to shoot and tranquilize them with. Uh, you can either use your pistol or the tranquilizer sniper rifle i decided to use the sniper rifle you could probably even use something different like uh one of the rifles like the beanbag uh, shotguns or something like that i've never actually used any of those i just prefer the sniper rifle and the pistol that's just my personal preference but if you guys want to use those feel free to use those pretty sure that'd work as well so as you can see the vehicle is already here so that is the reinforcements they've already arrived so as you can see you can't get uh the uh, the other mission task where you have to uh, uh, get the film canister before reinforcements arrive because if you then try and do, do that if you do that first and then try and go and get the prisoner he, you're actually going to extract uh, exfiltrate out of the hot zone before you're going to actually get to the prisoner so you have to do the prisoner first and then when you try and do the second the reinforcements are already going to be here so what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same thing we're just going to throw tons of uh, sleep grenades all over the place so that we can just get tons of these guys asleep and this is a very easy way of securing the area so that we can get the uh, film canister 
there's not much else to talk about other than just waiting for me to actually complete the mission. Um, sometimes you don't get these guys even though it seems like you, you've thrown the canister really close to them. So I just decided to tranquilize that guy because he was just... He just didn't seem to fall asleep from the thing. And we're just going to try and get that guy. We got, I think we got him once. And we're just going to get him in the face right there with the sniper rifle. Just really, really easy. And then this guy, we're just going to get it with Ace. Um, sleep grenade. We can't use tranquilizers on him because he's got a full riot suit on. And then we're just going to throw a grenade at him as well. And the guy near the vehicle. And he will fall asleep. And that will count as capturing the thing. There's actually one more guy that we have to find. Uh, we have to get rid of. And we're going to do that just so that you guys can see that we can actually capture this. Uh, either way, so you can do it on the first playthrough or you can do it on your second playthrough. He's eventually going to fall asleep. And you just heard the noise because he fell asleep that we completed the mission task. And now we're going to get out of the hot zone. Um, so for, oh, actually, first of all, we're actually going to get the uh, vulture. So the griffin vulture, that is the uh, massive bird that's kind of circling around above us. There are, I think, two of them. In the area so we're just going to try and shoot him and once we get it tranquilize it we don't really get want to get that one that lands there you don't really want to get one that lands on the pillar because if you shoot it it doesn't always fall off the structure and uh, it's easier to shoot but if it doesn't fall off the structure then you can't actually get up and get it collect it because you do need to fault and extract it out of the area so that's what we're going to do we're just going to head over to this one we shot this one in midair and it can be quite hard to do that sometimes and once we've done that, extracted it mount, that will count as that mission task. And that was the last mission task that I needed to complete. As you can see, I get the five out of five mission tasks complete. And now all we have to do is get out of the hot zone. And that will be the end of this mission. And we also end up S rank here this time as well, I'm pretty sure. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to head the same low like direction and try and get out of here as quickly as we can so try and miss all of the things you probably just go down the road and keep heading down the road i'm not too sure exactly where the outside of the hot zone is i just know that if you head this way you're probably going to get out of there a bit quicker and now i'm just going to show you all of the mission tasks that we completed so in that one we completed everything except for getting there before the reinforcements arrived and then i end up just going here so i decided to hop out of it because i know that the um, hot zone just ends right there and i didn't really want to just reverse and then get drive forward so i just hopped out of the vehicle and that's it that's all we have to do and we'll just wait for the you what's it called what's the what's the what's the what's google my brain's not working tonight and there we go 133 so we just get the s rank in that playthrough it just takes a bit too long and we don't get all the mission tasks but we get pretty much everything and that's all we're going to do for this video so thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it hopefully you guys have now got all the mission tasks for this mission and hopefully the s rank as well and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and hopefully see you in the next video